Hello, Baggies fans. Welcome to the Hawthorns. My name is Johnny Drury, and I have just watched a frustrating afternoon, really, for Albion. The third game in a week, the third draw, the second nil-nil draw, which is is not always the best to see. Um, but in truth, it probably wasn't a nil-nil game, much like at Bristol City last week. That wasn't really a nil-nil game. I don't believe this was. First half, very lethargic, you know, as we've seen Albion at times under Carlos Corbrand. Um, and we really had Alex Palmer to thank. Saved a penalty. It was a handball from Kyle Bartley. I think he's got no real complaints, Kyle Bartley, um, about that. But second half, Albion really, really had a go. There were some really big chances. Alex Moa hit the bar, uh, as did Brandon Thomas Asante, who probably should have scored. Uh, Matt Phillips and Jason Malumbi have both had both had shots blocked. And there was a few few hairy moments. I think Jimmy Ajayi skirted a header wide of the mark. And then at the other end, aside from the penalty in the first half, Millwall didn't really have a, an opportunity to score. So it's, it's really two points dropped from Albion's perspective today. Um, but I just want to talk about some individual displays, really. Uh, if we did, well, five changes, really, before the game. Five changes, we expected some. I don't think we quite expected five, um, but we had five changes. Uh, Income Bartley did very well, I thought, um, in between going off and, and getting his head rebandaged and bandaged again. I thought he did well. Connor Townsend came in. Solidified a little bit on that left wing back position. Thought he did very well. Um, and then Swift and Wallace both left out. Surprising, certainly Swift. Maybe not Wallace. I know he got back to a little bit of form on Wednesday night. Um, but we've been been saying that he might might be worth sort of taking out of the out of the team. Um, and he was taken out today. Came on second half. Didn't do a great deal. Um, Jeremy Sarmiento came into the team. Well, I just want to talk a little bit about Jeremy Sarmiento because. You know, social media and even fans you talk to call for Samiento to start. You know, a lot of experts calling for Samiento to start. He was given the nod today. And even though he looked sharp and dragged Albion up the pitch at times, I think we just got a little bit of a glimpse of why Carlos Corbran has sort of been easing him in and hasn't wanted to use him from the start in every game. Um, there was a few times, certainly one in the first period, or sorry, the second period, where Albion launched a really quick counter attack. He got to the edge of the box and he gave the ball away really easily. He did it twice. Uh, and there was a few other times where... You know, he gave the ball away, a bit of a sloppy touch here and there. Um, but we saw some good signs and, and a sign of more to come, but a sign that he's by far and away, you know, he's not the finished article and we will need to see, you know, a little bit more from him. Um, elsewhere, I thought Alex Mowat was exceptional for Albion today. I thought he was Albion's best player. I thought he was the best that came in and I thought he's really, really, really given Carlos Corbin a massive, massive headache now for the trip to detail on Saturday because he didn't put a foot wrong. Every time it was on to play forward, he played forward. You know, if he needed to play back, he played back. You know, he hit the bar. He could he could have scored a fantastic goal down there. Um, and he was always on the edge of that box when the ball was falling, just to mop things up. You know, shuffle the ball from side to side. I thought he was, I thought he was brilliant. And I think he's what he's done is he's bided his time. He's waited. He's going to have been frustrated because he had a really good preseason, but he's been given a little bit of a chance now. And for me, I would say he probably has to start alongside. Okay, next week, okay, Kushlu. Um, but Jason Robbie didn't have the best of games again today. Um, but it was really good. It was really good. I thought Albion really sort of pressed, played forward. I thought Matt Phillips had another good game. And we've got to talk about Grady D and Garner because in that second half, well, in the first half as well, we saw glimpses. In that second half, we saw that's the closest we've seen to the Grady D and Garner of the Slavon Village season for a long, long time. Don't get me wrong, he wasn't wasn't in that ballpark, but he played really well. A couple of times he shuffled the ball. Fired it in. It just, the ball just didn't. It didn't fall for Albion today. It was one of those days where I didn't think we were ever going to lose the game, but it was one of them. You thought it's just not going to fall for today. Just not Albion's day. But more positives. You know, we look on the the week as a whole. Disappointing, really. You know, three games. I've just read a tweet now um, on paper: Bristol City, Watford, and Albion, uh, and Millwall at home. You'd expect maybe five, even seven from that. You know, but this is a different Albion team. You know. He's had a lack of options today. Brandon Thomas Asante worked ever so hard again today, but he was knackered. He was on his feet at the end. And that could be Albion's undoing in the next six or seven weeks, you know, before we see Josh Manger again. Uh, but I thought he did really well. Um, but on another day, it could have been nine. It could have been nine when you look back at I know could have, would have, should have, but Josh Manger should have had a penalty at Bristol uh, Bristol City. You know, one of them efforts from Thomas Asante goes in at Watford Wednesday night. Granted, they had chances too. And today, you just need one to fall. It felt like a day where it was going to come off someone's backside if it was going to ever happen. It just didn't fall. It came off the post. It dropped wide. You know, it came off someone's thigh. It fell to a Millwall player. Just one of them days, you know. So not a lot, not a lot to get to, to beat Albion to beat themselves up about this week. But a little bit of a missed opportunity, I would say. A missed opportunity this week. But, you know, good signs. Mo and Dean going on the top draw. Uh, move on to Preston. You know, going to Deepdale as probably underdogs. 
for the first time in a very long time. Um, you know, and hopefully some more goals. You know, Rip Roaring here early in the season. You know, that's one goal in three. Um, Coxie's back on Monday. Hopefully he brings the goals back from Thailand, but we will see. But final score here at uh, a nice sunny Hawthorne this evening. Uh, nil nil. All your reaction, expressesr.com.